Okay, suppose I'm rolling a dice. <clears throat> what are my chances of rolling a six? Well, there are six sides on a die, so each of them is a different number. So it seems to make sense that the chances of rolling a six are just one over six. What are my chances of rolling either a six or a one? Well, again, there are two ways we can make that. So we've got the sixth plus a sixth. So that equals a third. So there are two possible ways that I can make it. So I can either roll a one or a six. So there's a third chance that I'll roll, roll either of them. OK. The next problem is, suppose I have two dice. What's the chances that the combined value of the two dice come to six? That's harder to do. But the way we actually calculate that is we draw up a grid of all the possible results that we can have. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, sorry, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we mark in on the grid the numbers we get by combining the two numbers at the side. So one plus one would give me a two. Uh, three plus three, somewhere down here, would give me a six. Five plus one would give me a six. Okay. And then when we finish the grid, we can work out all the possible ways we can get a six. Okay, I've now filled in on the grid all the possible ways we can get a six. We can get a six by five plus one, four plus two, three plus three, four plus two, one plus five, and that's all the ways. There's no other combination of numbers we can roll on the dice which will give us six. So now it's just a matter of counting up the number of ways we can make a six, which is one, two, three, four, five. So we can make, we've got five ways of making a six. And then we divide that by the total number of squares which are on the grid. How do we get that number? Well, we've one, two, three, four, five, six, multiplied by one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six by six, which gives us 36. So it's 5 out of 36 are our chances of rolling a 6. OK. This basically leads to an important 